is Monday evening and we're out here as a family just sitting on our back porch, I guess. I don't know, the brick work. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're doing a little bit of grilling and I'm working on my alpaca uh, neck and body. And I had this realization um, earlier today that I made more progress when I wasn't afraid of of um, ripping my work out and trying again than I have been these last um, couple weeks where I've been so focused on doing it perfectly the first time. So I have ripped out this alpaca, this back that is just really getting to me. Um, so I've ripped it out like twice already tonight and I've got to rip it out again because I still am not there. but. I do finally feel like I'm making some progress, so I think that's a good thing. I just finished putting the ears on my stick horse, and I'll be honest, it looks kind of like a kangaroo. Somehow we went from looking like a T-Rex before the eyes were on to looking like a kangaroo with eyes and ears on. So something is definitely not right with this pattern. But I I think the jury is still out on whether putting a mane on will make all the difference. So we're just gonna see. Right, just take a look at that. I think it does make a difference. I mean clearly it's just kind of thrown on there for the moment. I think it does make a difference helping it look more like it's a um, an actual stick horse, but I don't think it makes all the difference. I think, I think the face shape needs to change a little. I think it needs to have a narrower, narrower, um, muzzle. And I think my ears are too big. So, oh well. I'll have to make changes, but probably not to this one. Probably to the next version. So, we were in Joanne's today, um, getting supplies for another project. I know um, a while ago I bought like so much stuff that I said I was like I probably won't need to come to Joanne's for like three months. I think it's been two since then. Anyway, I am just about done with all of my projects so I got the suspense is killing you I know. Whoops. So I got a skein of this kind of muted blue yarn. I'm going to be using it to make a whale for my friend's baby. His name is Jonah. And so it's just going to be really cute. A little whale with a little baby Jonah. I'm excited. Anyway, more errands to run, so I will see you in a bit. We have made it to Saturday evening, and my day has taken a turn for the crazy, as it so often does. And so I'm going to have to quit my vlog here. I was really hoping to, as you can see in this mismatched heap right here, get my alpaca done. <clears throat> so this is the body. I'll assemble it here for you in a second. So it's supposed to look like this when it's assembled. We've got the head, the neck, the body, and I only have one leg done at the moment. And it's kind of hard to see my little kitchen table all there so that was what I had hoped to get done this afternoon but didn't work out uh, that's fine you know taking time for people is more important than getting projects done and so yeah so I'm feeling fine about that um, definitely looking forward to finishing the alpaca uh, it has been very interesting it's definitely looking at it already there are some tweaks to the pattern that I want to make this is not going to be one of those uh, rough draft, final draft things. It's uh, definitely much more of a just rough draft. <laughs> I was thinking about it earlier today how um, I've been really fortunate to have, I, you know, I was thinking that I was, I've, I'd been very fortunate to have a lot of my patterns kind of go like rough draft equals final draft. Um, but actually once I thought through it, only my rabbit right there has been a rough draft final draft pattern. Everything else has had has had rough drafts or multiple rough drafts like my sheep 
it took me three times to get it right. And then even when I made my stick sheep over there, I changed it. Um, so kind of that took me four, uh, four drafts. And uh, my panda, I had another bear before it that I had tried to do and it was terrible. Um, so, you know, so that one had a rough draft. My elephant had a rough draft. I guess my baby elephant didn't. But, I mean, kind of the bigger one was the rough draft because I just modified the pattern to make it smaller. Uh, my owls, you know, clearly there's a rough draft, final draft there. And, like, their great-grandpa is over on my desk. And, uh, you know, it was the first owl, you know, so definitely a rough draft. And, and so I... What this boils down to is I think I need to be more patient with myself. I think after doing the rabbit and being like, yeah, I nailed it. <laughs> you know, I, I, I did this on the first try and it turned out really cute. And I'm really happy with it that I've kind of expected myself to be able to do that again. Um, <clears throat> and I, I'm not always going to be able to, and I have to remember that, you know, and so so that one, so my alpaca is, is a rough draft at the moment. And the stick horse that I'm working on as well, also a rough draft. I definitely have some, some changes I want to make to that. So anyhow, it has been a really good week. Um, I do feel like I've gotten uh, some good things accomplished and I'm excited. I'm excited for next week. Looking forward to finishing up my two projects and hopefully getting started on the whale. So I will see you next time. Take care.